often happen because he immediately called to the bench for the timeout. 7-13 remaining in the first. 12-9 Boston. This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio. And the ESPN app is at ID. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. When I was a kid, my father was up on a bulldozer when a brick wall collapsed. It almost killed him. The doctors had to amputate his leg, and he had to learn to walk again. While my mother went to work as a waitress just to pay the bills. I know what you're going through. I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates' personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates' personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Back. As the official cerveza of Major League Baseball, Corona allows fans to enjoy the finer life of sports. Throughout the 2023 season, Corona will be giving fans an opportunity to win tickets to the World Series. Don't miss your chance to cheer on your favorite team on the biggest stage. For complete details, including how to enter, see official rules at constellationbrandsweepstakes.com slash the big game. Relax responsibly. Corona Extra Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. The sweepstakes is in no way sponsored, administered, executed, or produced by any MLB entity. Major League Baseball trademarks and copyrights are used for the permission of Major League Baseball. Vincent right side of the front court drives and scores off the window. That's 
Smith ties it at 14. Eight footer off glass. Derek White left side on the front court to Smart. Lobs deep right post. Jalen Brown turnaround jump shot and he scores again. Dave, it's, it's easy right now. Dave Vincent's given up several inches and with the jump shot he's got, Jalen Brown, it's easy money right now. He has eight of the 16 points for the Celtics who lead by two with five and a half to go in the first. Bruce right wing and they're going to call a foul here. Bam out of bio. Knock Marcus Smart to the ground trying to come around the screen. Offensive foul on Bam is first. Marcus was set to check out. Malcolm Brogdon and Robert Williams both coming in. But it's something to look at. Marcus was grabbing that upper thigh area after he got screened by Bam. He's still holding the left thigh. And he's on the bench. Malcolm Brogdon and Robert Williams. So he's got the big lineup. Brogdon left side going to take a three. but Illegal screen, I believe, on Robert Williams. That's his first foul. The Miami ball, 16-14. Boston leads with 5.28 to play. In the opening quarter, here in Miami, game three. The Heat lead the series two games to none. First time in franchise history, winning both games one and two on the road. Left side is Butler, and a foul on Jalen Brown as he was trying to defend Butler, who was moving to his left. And that is the second team foul on the Celtics. As soon as he stood up as a defender, Jimmy Butler, it was over. I mean, he's going to get the angle or draw the contact. In between the circles is Vincent. Throws to Butler at the hash mark on the far side. Jalen Brown hedging, so on the switch, Robert Williams has Butler top of the circle. Butler's going to drive on him to the corner. Vincent, he'll put it up. And hit a three. That gives the Heat a one-point lead. If you're Derek White, why turn your back on the shooter there? Miami three for six from three-point range. Brogdon left side looking for the answer as Friesen air ball to the side of the rim. Saved by Derek White, but right to Miami. Now a five on four because White was out of bounds. Screws right side. Underneath Bam. Low right. Goes up for the block, but it's blocked by two Celtics. And now a late whistle by Tony Brothers at crew chief. They're going to say Robert Williams got Bam in the face when he tried to block the shot. So that's two on him. Bam has proven to be a difficult cover for the Boston Celtics. You know, this is a guy coming out of Kentucky, wasn't super skilled, right? Only limited time at Kentucky under John Calipari, really was a vertical threat at the rim and a defender. Give, give Miami credit for his skill development. By the way, they call the foul on White, his second. The Heat do as good a job as anybody at identifying and developing talent. One more free throw for Van. He got the first one. Miami by two. Kyle Lowry is on the floor now for the first time in the game. Lowry was great in game one at 15 points. Did not score in game two, but Duncan Robinson did the opposite. He didn't score in game one, but Robinson had 15 in game two. So Lowry is similar to Kevin Lowry. Two championship experience players. But because of their age and some of their injury history, they can't bring it every single night. But opportunistically, in moments, that experience shines through. Adebayo misses the second free throw. Rebound Jalen Brown in the front court. Right side, Brogdon driving baseline. Swing it around, top of the key. Brown drives, nice in through two defenders. Missed the layup, though, off the glass. Rebound Heat. They got numbers, but they throw it ahead and almost out of bounds. Saved by Martin to Spruce up top. They'll put it up to three, and he throws it. The lead is five now for Miami. Timeout, Boston. Jalen Brown got fouled on the other end. Joe Missoula is in the grill of two officials. Screaming, so is Marcus Smart. Celtics are hot at the non-call on the Jalen Drive. 4.21 to go in the first quarter. It's 21 to 16 Miami. This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app is presented by Indeed. Get in AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. You know, changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advance can help your engine get more miles. Right now, buy a five-quart jug and get a free STP Extended Life oil filter. That's right, free. Get started on your next job today with the parts you need, when you need them, at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Restrictions apply. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. 
From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit VividSeats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. Angie's List is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your words? Less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing his seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NHTSA. Tuition with Dr. Granger Studio, even with Joe Missoula having his team in the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals, he's taken a lot of flack and a lot of criticism this postseason. Eric Spolster on the other side, he can understand. You know, this is just a really tough profession, you know, and, and this is where we all want to be uh, in the playoffs when the stakes are at the highest. That's also one of the um, you know, probably uh, just unfairly criticized all the time from, from everywhere. <laughs> But he's done uh, really a, a remarkable job for a young guy. Sympathetic Eric Spolstra on Joe Missoula. Right now, Miami's got the lead. Before we go back to David Doris, Roz go to winning on the sidelines at the Singer Center. Roz? The Heat's depth continue to be on display. Caleb Martin told me this is the most confident he's ever felt in his career. He gave a lot of credit to vets who have helped him. And like many of the Heat players, how much easier Jimmy Butler makes the game feel for him. The Heat have used the next man mentality all season long with an injury plague season. And Coach Spolstra told me, we have many players that can step up. We have X-Factors. We have ignitable guys. And we have readiness in our DNA. Guys. Roz, it's a 7 nothing heat run right now. 4.15 to go in the first. 21-16 Miami. Grant Williams on the floor for the Celtics. Brown right elbow. Got caught in the air. Almost turned it over. Got it back to Brogdon on the left side. He's going to take a long two and put up a brick. Rebounded by Butler. With Caleb Martin on the floor, he absorbs the Tatum matchup. Butler was the one who forced that tough pass by Brown. Butler driving right side, getting through the defense, and then turns it over, throws it right to Tatum under the goal. Tatum racing back across the timeline. Horford left wing. Good recovery by Miami, though. No airspace at all for Celtics on the perimeter. Right corner is Williams. Fires to Horford. Low post right. Goes up over Spruce and puts it in. I wonder if they try to exploit that. Spruce is the matchup on Horford. So when Al is spaced to three, it's different, right? He can get up underneath him and pressure him, but Al can post him and take advantage. That's five points. Points for Horford is average under five per game in the series so far. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Miami leading by three. Bam on the left wing with six to shoot about 18 feet away. Jab step and a left-hand dribble. Falling away over two Celtics off the rim and rebounded by Brogdon. Moving right to left. Boston with possession. Tatum on the left side. Spins into the lane. Goes right at the chest of Martin and turns it over. Loose ball on the floor. Bam out of bounds. Got six accidentally by Tatum, but a foul. That's the first on Tatum. That's the third team foul. No fouls yet on Miami here. Or 14 foul, rather, on the Celtics. Tatum tried to jump over Bam, but that right foot drags right across the face and head of Bam Adebayo. Looks painful. And he checks out. And Zeller comes in. Yep. Sorry, Dave. Looks like Zeller was going to come in anyway. He was already at the scorer's table, but Bam will get a little bit extra rest here. Lowry driving right side, gets under the basket, nowhere to go. Throws it back out to the perimeter on the left side from Martin. He'll dribble to the right hand. He's about 20 feet away and lost the ball on the far sideline out of bounds. They say Boston touched it last up. Shot clock at two. Have to be efficient, right? You are pinned against the sideline. You don't have a ton of options for your outlet here. 
So this is going to have to be inbounded cleanly and execution quick. Lowry inbounds. Cruz catches. Fires left wing. Deep three. No good. And it's rebounded by Tatum, who's blocking out Butler and tapped it to Jalen Brown. Brown on the front court. Hits Brogdon. He'll drive. He got stripped. Lost the ball. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Heat. 2.29 to go first quarter. Three-point Miami lead. 21-18. Inbound, left baseline, Jalen Brown to Brogdon, left corner, guarded there by Lowry. Robert Williams holding out high, finds Jason Tatum, who's doubled, top of the key, moves into the paint, tried to throw a lob, got it to Williams, who scores on the right baseline to the jump hook. Back-to-back -back possessions where you take advantage of your size with your bids. Miami's lead down to one, 21-20, two-minute mark first quarter. Butler, left corner, puts it on the floor, going left baseline, got bumped. Gets it to Martin, right wing. Martin being defended by Jalen Brown. Shovel pass to Lowry on the top of the key. He'll put it on the floor, goes into the lane, and gets the basket. A 12-foot push shot goes down. Lift with a little shot fake, goes flying by Jalen Brown defensively. Nice little floater. 23-20 Miami, Tatum on the right side. Thought about the three. Now lets it fly. Can't knock it down. Williams, though, got the offensive rebound. Back up with a half foot. No, battered round. Williams got it again. Gets it out. Right side. Brogdon will try the three, and he can't tie it. Long rebound, though, to Williams near side, but a foul is called on Williams trying to get the rebound. And that will put the Celtics over the limit. Free throws for the Heat. Brent Williams pretty upset with the call. He walks over to Tony Brothers, gives him a little bit of an earful, as does Joe Missoula. But he looks like he's physically, you know, beating Matt Spruce. He puts his left arm in his back and pushes him over. Easy call. Yep, I agree. First foul on Williams. Still no team fouls officially on Miami. Max Spruce at the line. First free throw on the way and good. Miami by four with a minute 29 to go. Here in the opening quarter. And just a reminder, you know, as this game wears on, we, we said it in game one and game two, Bears, Bears repeating here. The closer this game stays into the fourth quarter, the better off Miami is. They live in possession ball games all year, and they generally are content to be in that position because they've won a lot of those battles. They've been down 13 in game one and won that one, 12 in game two and won that one. Both close games in Boston. They have a five-point lead here just outside a minute to go in the first. Grant Williams on the left wing with a shot clock and five, getting booed by the Miami crowd. Backs down his man, goes into the lane. Wild shot, hit the backboard and nothing else. But a foul is called here on Miami. Going to go on Struess, his first. And they say that it was on the rebound, a loose ball foul. First foul in the last two minutes, so no free throws here for the Celtics. Wow, so it was weak side. Struess trying to contend with Robert Williams. Wow. Tatum on the right wing, five points, five rebounds in the first. Hits Jalen Brown at the foul and He'll stop there, put it up, miss the shot. Z uh, Zeller with a rebound. Brown has eight points. Four for seven from the floor. Butler, one of three from the floor. Two points to three assists and two rebounds. He's at the head of the key, driving in Robert Williams. Kicks it out to Martin on the right side. Hesitates, now fires, and hits a three. He's been shot ready. His catch and shoot percentage throughout the entire playoffs, almost 45%. A guy who they wouldn't guard last year, Dave. He's two for two from three. Miami with its largest lead today. 38 seconds to go in the quarter. Brown hits the deck, turned it over in the middle of the lane. Outlet pass. Martin catches and gets to the rim and scores. Miami by 10 with 30 seconds to go in the first. Feels like Boston is spending some time looking to draw contact and not thinking about finishing. Meanwhile, Miami keeps playing. Five turnovers by Boston, leading to eight Miami points. Seven-second difference in the clock. Law pass, Williams in the high post, drives and finishes at the rim. They wave it off, though, an offensive foul. Kyle Lowry and Zeller were both there trying to draw the charge, and that's two on Williams. So Kyle Lowry is the guy who absorbs this. That is an enormous body size coming at you in Robert Williams. But Kyle Lowry, just like Kevin Love, has done this his entire career. Two guys, one of the best in the business of doing it. Interesting. Joe Mazzulla using his challenge now. Wow. Here in the first quarter, it would be the second foul on Robert Williams, or third foul. They changed the foul, or that's why he's doing it. So we had Derek White with two when actually originally we said it was on Williams. 
Pardon. So that's why he's challenging it, because it would be three on Robert Williams. They, they changed the earlier foul back to Williams from White. And it did look like Lowry may have been moving a little bit, but again, even if you win the challenge, you, you get the points back, and maybe they call it Dawson Cross, so maybe it's a three-point play, but you're out of challenges, obviously, for the rest of the game. I'll tell you, this, this is close. This, this is going to be close enough. I agree with you. I mean... It is. This is one of the hardest calls in all of basketball, always, that block charge. Sometimes it's the angle at which you see it initially, the official. Then it's on replay where you get a better look at it from different sides and you make a decision. There's a lot going on. You could change it to a no-call, you could change it to a block, and then it's an and-one, so it's a big basket. Obviously, if it stays an offensive foul, that's three on Robert Williams. We, we saw Marcus Smart get banged up earlier. I wonder if he's 100%. To give you some sense of why your voice had surprised in it when Joe was using the challenge, folks, he's right on the money with this because this is the first time all year Joe Missoula has used his challenge in the first half of a ball game. Uh, the only head coach of the 30 in the league who's not used a first half challenge, his counterpart tonight, Eric Spolstra. You know, listen, it's 30 to 20. You're already down. We have a successful challenge. The play has been overturned to a blocking foul on Lowry. He replants after the upper shooting motion. So, again, you understand it, Doris, from that perspective of it's now a basket yep. and an and one. And Robert Williams only has two fouls now. It's, it's monster. And one of the things that a lot of staffs will tell you about this is if you can put points on the board or you can take points off the board for your opponent, and you believe you have it right, regardless of where it is in the game, you take it. But I just think it's also about mentality and mindset moving forward when you're down 0-2. So they, they just put the two points on the board for Boston, so it's 30-22 to 22 Miami with 15.1 remaining here in the first quarter. And one free throw for Robert Williams coming up. He's 5-7 for seven in the series at the line. Marcus Mark going to check back in. Grant Williams will come out of the game. Miami shooting 61%. Boston 41% from the floor. 2 for 7 from 3 for the Celtics. 5 for 9 for the Heat from 3. All the fans wearing white t-shirts. And so that's what Robert Williams is staring at as he shoots the free throw and misses. Rebounded by Lowry. Miami will hold for the final shot of the quarter. Lowry across the timeline with seven seconds left, guarded by Brogdon. Moves to his right, fires to the right corner. Martin handoff, Lowry puts up a three. It's short, long rebound, Brown, and that's the end of the first quarter. Now, if you're a Celtic fan, at least an encouraging finish, but boy, again, Miami seems like it's in control of this game through one quarter, 30 first quarter points. An eight-point lead, this is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, it's just playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That non-stop, quiet way to the top. Give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, and TNT. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Get your vehicle ready for spring during Clean Car Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Pro X1 exterior cleaning and detailing products provide professional results and show quality shine for your vehicle. Right now, pick up Pro X1 Snow Foam Car Wash 2 for just $15. See store for details. Pro X1 exclusively at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Great, it's yours. See you then. Nathan's Tiki Theme Bar is swimming and end of year party booking. Where can I find that many servers? They want headlamps? I don't need to find a band. He needs caterers to navigate the rising tide. No, Mario, not your cousin's copper band. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. 
I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Broken bricks, falling fences, damaged doors, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> of course. It's incredibly strong and 100% waterproof and bonds, well, virtually everything. While you're at it, look for Gorilla Tape, a heavy-duty double-thick duct tape, and Gorilla Super Glue. Great for all your quick fixes and repairs. There's also Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Wood Glue, Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Of course. You get it. If you can break it, Gorilla can fix it. <laughs> for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. With you inside our Granger studio, end of one in Miami. The Heat with an eight point lead. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Do not drive off the road with this big news. EPHRO and Rottenberg. Morning, I'll give it to you whatever you want. WEPN FM. New York. Butler, one of three for the board. Two points to three assists and two rebounds. He's at the head of the key, driving in Robert Williams. Kicks it out to Martin on the right side. Hesitates, now fires, and hits a three. Miami, 5 of 10 from distance in that opening quarter. They have an eight-point lead as they go back to Roscoe to win a Doris Burke and Dave Pash. Guys, of all the stats that could define the series, I never thought Miami being more productive for the three-point line would be one of them. Dave? Yeah. And give Jimmy Butler a lot of credit for that. We're finding the open man. So four assists for him. So he's taken three shots only, but four assists, all four were for the three-point line. To Kevin's point, they've made five for ten. Jimmy's got assists on four of the five. Incredible. 58% shooting by Miami. Kevin mentioned the five of ten from three. Meanwhile, Boston, 42% from the floor. Miami ball with a 30-22 to 22 lead. We start the second quarter. Lowry on the right wing uses a screen, dribbles to the elbow right. Back out to Martin between the circles, shot clock at eight. Duncan Robinson on the left wing, Grant Williams watching in. Robinson drives past him, middle of the lane, goes to his right hand and scores. Jason Tatum thought there should have been a foul for a clear on with the left arm by Robinson, but no whistle in the lead back to ten. Eric Spolster said he spent two summers driving the ball, Duncan, because you know they're going to run him off the line. Brogdon right side, floater no good off the glass, rebound Lowry, they got numbers if they hurry, Lowry across the timeline, dribbles through the lane and pull it back out, largest lead right now for the Heat at 10, a minute into the second quarter, Vincent left wing, facing up on Brogdon, trying to knock him off his spot, shot clock at 8, Vincent's got to pass it, and they're going to say traveling, he had already picked up his dribble, good defense by Brogdon to force the turnover. See, those are little windows where I think Vincent's uh, lack of playing the point guard from the earliest show, right? He gives up his dribble in dead man space. You have nowhere to go from a pass perspective, and you're in a tough spot on the floor. He's really had to work to become more of a combo guard. Was pretty much a gunslinger in college, but was willing to work on his game to make the NBA. Derek White drives right side of the corner, Marcus Smart. He got fouled, and he put up a three. It's no good. They're, in fact, going to wave it off and say it was on the floor, but that was a wise play by Smart to at least acknowledge the contact and then try to throw up uh, the shot. Let's quickly get an update on Kevin Love from Ross. Yes, I heard from Heat staff, Kevin Love has a left ankle injury. It's TBD on his return. They'll find out more later. All right, appreciate that, Roz. Ten-point deficit for Boston. Minutes gone by here in the quarter. Al Horford left wing drives into the paint, kicks to the right side. White is there. Spots up and hit. A three-pointer for Derek White. That's Al Horford driving and kicking. That's Boston's best game, typically. And out of bile. At the top of the key, bounce pass underneath Robinson, low right, gets the layup off the window. What a gorgeous pass. Those two had multiple connections in game two on exactly that. The back cut, great touch on the pass by Bam. Left side of three from Horford, spins out, rebound, Bam out of bio. Two minutes in, 34-25 Miami. Heat lead the series two games to none. Lowry at the midcourt stripe, right at the Heat logo. Throws to the right wing for Vincent. Lobs the Bam out of bio, facing up on Al Horford. Bam with a left-hand dribble, backing him down. Got the ball poked away, but able to catch up to it. Shot clock at five. Martin on the left side. Has to put it up, does the three. It's the front rim, and then off the mark. Rebounded by Tatum. White in the front court to our left. To the trailer, Tatum. He's got five points. He drives. Right-hand layup is good against Bam out of bio. Strong move. Straight line drive from 23 feet. 
Miami back quickly in the front court with Martin. Had a chance at a layup, but lost his balance. Now drives in the lane. Kicks it out to Vincent on the left wing. Nine and a half to play in the second quarter. 34-27 Miami. Vincent drives right side. Stop, stop of the key. 20 footer is up and down for Gabe Vincent. The screen by Bam gave him about a, a step and a half on Marcus Smart, and Marcus couldn't recover. Vincent, three of three, seven <laughs> points. Nine point Miami lead. He has led by as many as 10. White at the top of the circle. Throws to Tatum on the left side. It's free. No good. Not close. Way off. Rebounded by Lauer. Pushing Temple left to right. Right wing of the front court, Martin. Martin in the middle of the lane. Pumps it. Kicks it out to Vincent. He'll try a three from the left side. Hit it. Vincent with 10 first half points. Impressive ball movement by Miami. They, that ball was flying around the floor. Efficient. I feel like very little dribbling for Miami right now. Miami is 6 of 12 for 3. They lead by 12. Right side dropped into the corner. Horford, his 3 is good. Able to answer. Al Horford, 8 points, finally out of his slump. He's the leading scorer along with Jalen Brown right now for the Celtics. Lowry in the front court stops in the lane and scores from about eight feet. No resistance there for the Celtics. You usually get an early indication from Kyle how he's going to play. If there's got any bounce, it's usually a good night. 41-30 Miami. Tatum on the left side drives into the lane. Avoids the charge. Missed the shot. The tip is good with a right hand by Tatum, though. He's been aggressive. Attacking the rim off that right hand drive. Eight minute mark, second quarter. 41-32 Miami. Bam on the left side of the elbow, facing up on Horford. Jab step, pump fake, and then gets it back out to Robinson, left wing. Robinson drives, lob pass, and the stop with one hand by Bam out of bio. Duncan Robinson as playmaker? A perfect alley-oop pass. And now Smart, top of the circle, three, an air ball. Out of bounds to Miami, leading the Celtics 43-32, 7.37 left in the half. Marcus Smart hearing it from the crowd. I'm a little surprised he was that aggressive early from three. But that last play by Duncan Robinson, off the dribble drive to be willing to make that play, a pass in a two-on-one situation and lob pass it, wow, that is gross for him. Guy that's been in and out of the lineup the last two years. He drives here and kicks it out. Martin spot a three left side. Another one. The lead is 14 for Miami. Timeout Celtics. It's 45-32 Miami with 7.20 remaining. A two-pointer from Cody Martin. He's 4 of 5 from the floor, 10 points. Vincent has 10, 7.20 to go in the half. You're listening to the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with New York City's youth. Start earning over $47,000 in three months. You can get a $2,500 bonus, earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and into five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. Seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. With car prices at an all time high, our donors are now getting highest receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. Accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Hey guys. 
while First Father's Day comes one day early at Crystal Springs Resort. Don't miss the Brews and Birdies Golf Tournament and the New Jersey Beer and Food Festival sponsored by Paul Miller Auto Group on Saturday, June 17th. Experience amazing golf at New York City's closest resort, plus 200 beer varieties and all-you-can-eat barbecue feast, live music, goat races, balloon rides, and more. Get your tickets at the Crystal Springs Resort.com. That's the Crystal Springs Resort.com. Kevin Oitch, with you inside a Granger studio inside the numbers. Back to my FanDuel Sportsbook and official sports betting partner of the NBA, David Doris. Mentioned the Heat have never lost the series and they've been up two games to love. Boston has only come back to win two of the 17 times that's happened inside the numbers for this game. Boston actually led 16 to 14. It has been a 31 to 16 Miami run with 7.20 to go in the second, and the Heat trying to go up three love lead by 13. Before David Doris, here's Ron's going to Guys, I've been hanging around that Celtics huddle, and I see a team that's frustrated, together, animated, multiple leadership players emotionally speaking up. Uh, each time out, it's a different player advising the team. It's been Al Horford first. This last time out, it was Marcus Smart who had the attention of the team. They talked about possessions, taking care of the ball, defensive assignments, and missing it. It's emotional because they're frustrated, but what I see is a team that is together and actively trying to figure it out. Guys. Well, this is a critical time, Roz. They are down 13 with seven minutes to go in the half, and they changed the last shot by Martin to a three, so it's a 14-point deficit. Smart in the lane is fouled. He got stripped by Lowry trying to go up for the shot. That is three fouls on Lowry. First foul, or second team foul in Miami. Free throws for Smart. I would say... The Celtics need to figure some out, some things out defensively. They're they're giving up 50 percent from the three-point line to Miami, 80 percent on two-pointers, 90 percent on field goal attempts in the paint. Like they've got to find their defense. Miami has got to start to feel them a little bit. Marcus Smart got the first free throw, his first point of the game. He has seven points in game two. Missed the second free throw and out of bounds. Near side, last touch by Jalen Brown of Boston. Brown had eight points in the first quarter. Has not scored here in the second. Miami leading by 13. And out of bio, top of the key. Jimmy Butler back on the court. Duncan Robinson in between the circles. Looking for Bam in the high post right he's got. Facing up on Jalen Brown. Spins past him. Put Jalen Brown on his rear end. And wins at home. How about the spin move? The switch with the two-man game between Robinson and Bam. And Bam. Shake and bang. Bam. Largest lead of the game for the Heat at 15 points. And then a turnover by Boston. Stripped by Butler, right wing of the front court, finds Bam in the paint. Now left corner, Robinson, and three is on the way. Touchdown! Miami starting to blow it open. It's up to 18. We just said a moment ago, a critical time for Boston. Miami 8 of 14 from three and 69% shooting overall. The lead 51 33 18 with 6 10 to go in the half. Smart drive, missed the shot from eight feet. Rebound Lowry into the front court with the ball. Leads it to Robinson left wing. 30 footer on the way off the back iron. No, and rebounded by Smart of Boston. And a foul called on Lowry. Offensive foul. No, they say on Smart. Lowry went over the scores table. Marcus Smart called for the offensive foul. We sometimes see that where the player's got the ball and he veers into the defensive player. And that's exactly what Marcus Smart did. And Kyle Lowry, always going to exaggerate a little bit, goes <laughs> diving over the midcourt line. But if you're Marcus Smart, why do that? Ace turnover. Miami's got 12 points off of those turnovers. It's 51-33 Heat with 5.56 to go in the third quarter. Chance of let's go Heat raining down from the sellout tribe here at Kaseya Center. Duncan Robinson tried to bounce pass it to Bam Adebayo who got held up. A foul is called on the Celtics. That is the first team foul in the quarter. Jalen Brown second personal. I feel like the Miami Heat are trying to send a very clear message and perhaps disavow us all of the notion that the Boston Celtics are the better team. My 
Miami Heat have looked clearly like the better team through two and almost a half games of this series. Butler top of the key. Think about it, he's taking three shots. He's got two points and they're dominating. He gets fouled here, putting up a shot, hit the top of the backboard. He'll go to the line for two. They get Rob Williams for his third. But again, in terms of scoring, Butler hasn't been a factor, but he's got five assists. You make a great point. And this, to me, is the beauty of Jimmy Butler. Uh, his game isn't what you call sexy, right? He doesn't have the handle of Kyrie Irving, the flash and panache of some of the better athletes. He doesn't rise up and throw it down by Jean Morin. You know what he does do? If he makes the first free throw, he wins. And he does the rarest of things in the NBA. And you know what that is? That's a guy who, when the playoffs come, his points, rebounds, assists, and efficiency are all better. When the defense is better, when tendencies are more paid attention to, the man just plays when it matters most. Hit the free throws. It's a 20-point lead. 53-33 Miami with five and a half to go in the first half. Tatum on the right side. Left-hand dribble. Goes into the paint. Left-hand layup. No good. The tip-in won't go by Robert Williams. Got it back and then scores with the right hand right at the rim. He's played hard and he's fought Robert Williams. And wow, are they going to give him a tee? Yes, a technical on Robert Williams. He grabs a hold of Jimmy Butler and says, I didn't mean anything by it. I think he accidentally elbowed him. So Butler will go to the line for the free throw. Robert Williams' approach tonight. He's, he's got six points. He doesn't start. He's played five minutes. Six points in five minutes. Three rebounds. And he's willing to mix it up. Get to the offensive glass. Make hustle plays. After he scores, it's just he kind of gets tangled up and crosses the elbow. So they actually said the technical was on smart for talking. He was behind the play, chatting it up. Tony Brothers, the crew chief, is right there. And so he called the technical on Smart. So 54-35 after the free throw. 5.15 to go in the half. Miami leads and has the ball. Butler, top of the circle, guarded by White. Left hand dribble into the lane. Stops, goes up and scores. The jump stop in the paint. And then scores on the left side of the rim. 21-point lead. 15 for the run. Jalen Brown with one court bounce pass. And they're going to call a defensive foul here on Miami. It's because Smart looked like he disengaged from Gabe Vincent, but they called it on Vincent. I, said, I wouldn't mind seeing this again on a television replay, but I thought it was Mark the Smart style. I really did. Now, he's trying to manhandle Gabe Vincent. Gabe and he having a conversation on the low block. You know, gun slinger Vincent's not going to back away. 13 foul, first personal, 21 point deficit for Boston, 4.50 to go. And the first half, Jalen Brown, a logo three from the right side is in and out. He's 0 for 2 from 3, 2 for 15 in the series. Miami with the rebound. Vincent across the timeline, guarded by Smart 40 feet away to the midcourt stripe and Jimmy Butler. Guarded there by Derek White, shot clock at 8. Other dribble stop to the elbow, dribble handoff, left side wide open three from Robinson, but he can't knock it down. Rebound smart. Into the fourth four to the right side. 420 on the clock and a half. 21 point lead Miami. Garrett White in the corner. Out drive. Skip pass to Brown right side. Goes right at the defender and is able to get the basket over Zeller on the right side of the rim that time. Just turns his body sideways to avoid the contact. He almost would have been better. To, to go at him, I think, because it could have been an end one. Butler driving in the paint. Kick out Robinson, three from the left side. That one's good. He had just missed two. But, you know, when you're in and out of the rotation and you get to the playoffs, you might as well be aggressive. And Duncan Robinson isn't thinking he's playing. 59-37, Miami leads with 3.45 to go in the half. Grant Williams gets inside and scores with the right hand. A lot of Heat fans thought that he cleared out with his left arm, Cody Zeller. But still, even with that basket, Boston down 20. Three and a half remaining. Miami trying to go up 3-0 in the series. No one's ever come back from a 3-0 deficit to win a series in the NBA playoffs. Butler left baseline, finds Marks driving through the paint with a Euro step and a missed shot from eight feet. Rebound Tatum. Tatum in the front court double, throws to Brown left side, drives into the paint. Smart to White right wing, his three is up and knocks it down, pushing through. Love the decision by Marcus Smart. He actually had a wide open three, but understanding the more efficient guy is Derek White. He sends it one extra pass. That's good to great shot. And Eric Spolstra, sensing the momentum shift, calls a timeout. 3-10 to play in the first half. 59-42, Miami leads. 
This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing the seatbelt didn't. Don't waste it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by Nita. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving with new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service, delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. Mmm, your morning coffee. Hot, delicious, and oh so comforting. But by the third or fourth cup, your stomach might not feel so good. If that sounds like you, replace your afternoon cup with 5-Hour Energy. It's perfect for those times when you're feeling coffeeed out. Remember, coffee in the morning, 5-Hour Energy after. Your stomach will thank you. Discover 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. With you inside of Granger Studio tomorrow night, Dakota Jokic and the Nuggets have a chance to sweep out LeBron James and the Lakers. I'm not gonna say that I'm scared, but I mean, you know, I'm not worried because um, they have LeBron on, on the other side, and he's uh, he's uh, capable of doing everything, you know. So we're gonna come here with the same mindset, same focus, and uh, I think that's gonna give us put a situation to, to win a game. We'll have more on the Lakers on the brink of being swept coming up on the AutoZone halftime of Florida here in Game Three of the Eastern Conference Finals. Boston Celtics into Miami Heat. Miami has gone 30 and 29 in the first two quarters. There's still three to go here in the second. And as you go back to Dave Pash, Doris Burke, and Roswell away, I love to find those guys. I find it interesting. Boston gives up a big Miami run. Missoula lets them play. Eric Bolts to see Boston score in five points. Yep, yeah, that stops. The momentum, which had clearly shifted to Boston there for a moment, but Miami's still in command. You wonder, can the Heat keep this up? They're shooting 65% from the floor, over 50% from three. They lead 59-42. One thing you have to be concerned about if you're Boston, you have eight turnovers. You've given up 14 points off those. Jalen Brown with three of those, and Jason Tatum with two. Miami ball front court to our right. Martin with the left-hand dribble. Throws to Struess on the left wing. Lob to Jimmy Butler on the left baseline, about 15 feet away, being defended by Jarrett White. Shot clock at eight. Right-hand dribble into the lane. Stops there. Out of the left corner. Mark is wide open again. His three is in and out, though. It's rebounded by Williams. Seen a lot of good looks from the perimeter by Miami. He's not going down right now. Still 50% for the game, though, from three. Tatum penetrates. Kicks left corner. Jalen Brown is there. Shot clock at 10. Two and a half on the game clock. Out to Smart. Left wing. Backing down his defender with a right-hand dribble. And now a swing pass to the right side for Tatum. Step back three to the timer winding down. He missed it, and then Brown was right under the basket. Got an easy putback try, but blew the layup. Rebound Miami. On the right baseline, doubled in the front court. He'll dribble out of it, and his pass intercepted by White at midcourt. White driving the lane. Left-hand wild shot. Missed it. The follow is good, though, by Grant Williams with a right-hand layup. Great hustle by Grant Williams. Doesn't give up on the play and assume the layup will be made by White. Two minutes remaining in the half. 59-44. Miami is led by as many as 22. Butler at the head of the key. Triple threat position. Throws to Vincent right wing. Fakes the three. Now shoots. And hits the front iron mill. Rebounded by White. Boston looking to run right to left. White. Nobody stops him, so he drives in the lane. Got the block, though, by Zeller on the right-hand layup attempt. Miami ball. 
And 30 left. Ball around the attack. Goes to Grant Williams. Throws it up and scores off class. Plus a foul by Grant Williams. And then Jimmy Butler pointing with his right hand in the direction of Grant Williams White laying flat on his back. As if to say, I got you again. <laughs> Don't poke the bear, Dave Patch. But that's typical Jimmy Butler, understanding in transition, seeking out the body of Grant Williams, who's in retreat and transition. Grant thinks it's a little bit of a flop by Jimmy. But here's the key. You know, the momentum had 100% shifted. His team had stopped making shots. So Jimmy decides, okay, it's time for me to score again. And Boston is starting to shade their coverage a lot to Jimmy. Multiple guys and bodies in front of him. He missed the free throw, though. Rebound Celtics, 17-point Miami lead. Brown in between the circles. After a hot start, he's gone ice cold. White with it on the left wing. And a foul inside as Smart got tangled up with Martin. 14 foul. We've seen this a lot in the last couple of games. We saw it the first two possessions of game one where Marcus Smart said, I'm going to go down to the post. I've got that back to the basket game, and I'm going to take advantage. Now, he's thrown a couple of fouls here. We'll see who they continue to try to work that matchup. Gabe Vincent has him on the left box. White inbounding on the left sideline. Vincent and Smart still tangled up. Smart gets free and gets the inbound pass. 1.15 on the game clock here in the half. 61-44. Miami lead. Brown, wide open look right side. But his three is an air ball. He has zero confidence right now. Rebound Miami. Bam out of bio in the front court on the right side. Dribble drive on the left hand. Bounce pass Butler, middle of the paint. Got caught in the air, kicks it out. Screws has it on the right wing. Being guarded heavily by Williams near midcourt. Hands off Butler. Shot clock at five. Butler on the right wing, 30 feet away. They double him. Keeps the dribble. Two to shoot. Puts it up right baseline. Air ball. Rebound Tatum. Turns and runs up the court. Middle of the floor. Tatum driving right side. Stripped out of bounds by Vincent. It'll stay with Boston. Butler was late getting down court. Was still on the ground. But looks to be okay as he jogs back across the timeline. He let that entire transition opportunity go, and he was sitting on his backside, baseline opposite end. Boston will inbound, baseline left, Jalen Brown lobs near midcourt to Marcus Smart. 38 seconds to go, Smart penetrates, off balance, shot is good against Martin, the defender, 61-46 Miami. He puts it back on. 11 second difference in the shot clock. Two for one. Screws missed the three, though. Left side. A rebound, Jalen Brown. Boston on the move. Down 15. Two second difference in the clock. 18 in the shot clock. 20 in the game clock. Smart just holding the ball near the midcourt line. Backing off of him is Gabe Vincent by five feet. They go to Brown on the right side. He'll put it up. His three is not even close. He's 0 for 4. Rebound Miami. Five seconds to go in the half. Butler into the front court with three. On the right side with two. With one, he shoots from the right corner for three, but it's no good an air ball, and that ends the first half. And the official goes to the floor. Jimmy Butler, I think, ostensibly went over to say, can you help me up? But Curtis Blair not giving him any time of day as far as the foul call goes. <laughs> So, Miami led by as many as 22. It's down to 15, 61, 46. Heat leads, trying to go up 3 nothing in the series. Let's send it out to Kevin Winter in the studio, the AutoZone Halftime Report. Dave, Doris, and Raj, time to say goodnight to that check engine light with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service. It'll help troubleshoot the likely cause of your light for free. The fix and supply. Get in the zone. AutoZone, David mentioned, 22-point advantage for Miami. They scored 30 in the first, 31 in the second quarter. Miami has already put three in double figures. Boston right now has got 10 from Jalen Brown, and they got nine from Jason Tatum. But other than that, they're struggling immensely. Boston's not playing any defense. The Heat are taking advantage, shooting 58% from the floor, nine for 21 from beyond the arc, and even more impressive, Miami's moving the basketball. They have 23 made baskets. They have assisted on 15 of those. 61-46, Miami with the lead, trying to go up three games to none on the Boston Celtics. Up next on the Golden Sun Half Report, Denver went up three love on the Los Angeles Lakers. We'll take a look at the Lakers on the ropes and on the verge of being swept out of the Western Conference Finals. That's next. This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. Success is picking up extra shifts for your family. Now you want to be the boss. Success is getting your foot in the door. Now you want to take the next step. 
Success looks different to everyone, and University of Maryland Global Campus can help you reach your goals. For more than 75 years, we've been transforming lives by helping working adults like you expand their skills, move up, or start a new career. And there's never been a better time to get started on your future. Apply to UMGC by May 31st. We'll waive your application fee. An accredited state university. UMGC offers online and hybrid courses for more than 125 undergraduate and graduate degrees and certificates. Take advantage of faster onboarding, success coaches, lifetime career services, and more. Achieving your dreams is more possible than ever before. Choose the program that's right for your career goals and get moving forward. No application fee through May 31st. Learn more at umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Shell. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, this is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. Stay nonstop, quiet away from the top, even though you got type of team. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Unbelievable. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, and TNT. Bundling and saving with GEICO is an easy choice, so you're free to ponder life's big questions. Like, what's the best animal in the world if not humans? I'd strongly consider ducks to be somewhere up there on the list. Think about it. Ducks can swim, ducks can fly, and ducks can walk on land. They have access to all terrain. They are the ultimate animal. And they wiggle their butts when they walk, which is funny. Yeah, ducks are awesome. End of story. Bundling and saving with GEICO. It's an easy choice. NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Turnover by Boston. Stripped by Butler. Right wing of the front court. Finds Bam in the paint. Now left corner. Robinson. A three is on the way. Touchdown! Miami starting to blow it open. It's up to 18. It would go to as much as 22. A standing eight count for the Celtics. Part of a 22 to 8 run by Miami. The Otis on Halftime Report is brought to you by the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. We're at the break in South Florida at Casilla Center. The Miami Heat with a 61-46 lead over the Boston Celtics. Miami is halfway home to a three-games-to-none series lead. If that would be the case, it would be the first time since 2015 that both conference finals would be three-love because Denver has the Lakers on the break. They toyed with the Los Angeles Lakers. 119 to 108. It's a final now at Crypto.com Arena. Jamal Murray toyed with them in the first half. Murray walks the dribble above the left side break. Turns, shoots for three. Yo! 26 for Jamal Murray. Collectively, they toyed with the Lakers in the second half. Green for three. Yes! Bruce Brown knocks it down, turns and barks to the Lakers bench. Both teams know who the better team is. We've reached that point. Jokic for three straight away. Got it. And here he comes. Jokic now has hit back-to-back shots. We now know who the best team is, and it's a matter of whether it's a sweep. The Nuggets closed on a 26-14 to run and now lead three games to Or as they call now call it a gentleman's sweep, that's as far as it's gone. The deficit is 3-0, not 4. So as long as they haven't gotten the 4 yet, there's still hope. We're still alive. We just have to focus on winning one game. Lakers are on some very, very thin ice right now. You got to get one. It's, it's, it's one game uh, series for us. So, uh, every game counts, obviously. And it starts tomorrow night. Coverage of game four, the Western Conference Finals for LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers right here on ESPN Radio. Begins at 8 p.m. Eastern time. LeBron was also asked last night about the confidence level of being down 0-3. Is it white flag time? I mean, it should be. I hope so. Um, you know, I don't know. can't speak for the guys right now because I don't know what's going on through, through all their minds right now. But I still do. Um, so, you know, it's time going right back home and start to refuel and start the treatment, treatment process and recovery process and get ready for Monday. So uh, my mindset is, is, is always locked in as, as if it's a game one. By the way, let's re- re- recalibrate that. It's not, hey, is it white flag time? No, it's, is it not white flag time? I mean, it should be. I hope so. See, exactly. Yes, because LeBron James has confidence. Wanted to make sure we got that one right. Speaking of confidence, does the Cody Okich. I'm not going to say that I'm scared, but I'm, you know, I'm worried because um, they have LeBron on, on the other side and he's, uh, he's uh, capable of doing everything, you know, so... We are 
we're gonna come here with the same mindset, same, 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 uh, uh, same focus, and uh, I think that's gonna give a, put a situation to, to win a game, you know. So, but you know, we, we never know. Um, but they're gonna be aggressive. They, they of course, they're gonna be extra physical, extra. You know, they're gonna run more. They're gonna, you know, everything's gonna be on different level or, or, or one more of anything. So. So we will see. Everything will be on the line tomorrow night for the Los Angeles Lakers. Down three games to on Dakota Jokic and the Nuggets. One win away from their first ever NBA Finals. Meanwhile, up next on the AutoZone Halftime Report, Miami's 24 minutes away from going up three love in this series. You're listening to Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Say it with me, 40 days up to 40 pounds. With the warmer days of spring approaching, you need to get rid of that oversized sweatshirt and reach out to NJ Diet. You will lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. They use your hair, saliva, and blood work along with bioenergetic scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements that get your body into the fat burning zone so you can finally lose that weight. Then NJ Diet uses DNA info to help you keep it off. You will be slimmer before this summer with the help of NJ Diet. And best of all, it's contractually guaranteed. You are fully supervised the entire time to make sure you're burning fat and not just losing water. And you even get the doctor's personal email and phone number. Locations throughout New York, New Jersey, Connecticut or available worldwide with live online video consults. Call 855-5NJ-DIET or schedule your consultation today by going to NJDiet.com. That's NJDiet.com. 40 days up to 40 pounds. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. I'm a local guy. I grew up on these streets and worked all through law school. After school, I built my practice one client at a time. It didn't matter where they lived. It didn't matter how big or small the case was. I was there to make sure someone paid. Why? Because I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Back. Any business that wants to get to the top and stay there requires a dedicated team to implement a winning game plan. Eisner and for seasoned professionals provide business advisory and consulting services such as audit, accounting, tax, HR, outsourcing, and more. Eisner and for business advisors help clients transform their companies, build capital, innovate processes, and mitigate risk. Whether you're in the first quarter or the fourth quarter, for industry-specific strategies that meet your needs, make Eisner Amper part of the solution. Visit EisnerAmper.com slash solution. You're listening to the NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Kevin Orson with you inside our Granger studio here on the AutoZone Halftime Report. Rebounded by Lowry. Pushing tempo left to right. Right wing in the front court, Martin. Martin in the middle of the lane. Pump it. Kicks it out to Vincent. He'll try a three from the left side. Hit it! Vincent with 10 first half points. And on the left side of the elbow, facing up on Horford. Jab step, pump fake, and then gets it back out to Robinson, left wing. Robinson drives, lob pass, and the stop with one hand by Bam out of bio. Duncan Robinson as playmaker? All around the attack, goes to Grant Williams, throws it up and scores off glass, plus a foul by Grant Williams. And then Jimmy Butler pointing with his right hand 
in the direction of Grant Williams White laying flat on his back as if to say, I got you again. I got you again, indeed. Our first half recap brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. For more information, visit fivehourenergy.com. Miami with 30 in the first, 31 in the second. They had a 42 point lead. It's 15 as we make the turn of the third quarter, 61 46. Second half at the Casino Center's next. This is the Easter Conference Finals on ESPN Radio. The NBA Finals. Hearts are racing, heads are pounding. No time to rest. No time to look away. Because in the finals, everything changes. Oh, it's good! Fate collides with destiny. Today's stars become tomorrow's inspirations. And four wins turn the end of a season into the start of a legacy. The NBA Finals begin June 1st on ABC. Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your words? Less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you're always looking for ways to position your operation to create opportunities and move on them faster. With Bank of America, you get access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2023, Bank of America, N.A. Broken bricks, falling fences, damaged doors, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> of course. It's incredibly strong and 100% waterproof and bonds, well, virtually everything. While you're at it, look for Gorilla Tape, a heavy-duty double-thick duct tape, and Gorilla Super Glue. Great for all your quick fixes and repairs. There's also Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Wood Glue, Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Of course. You get it. If you can break it, Gorilla can fix it. <laughs> for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing a seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NUSA. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Did you know one in four car batteries is weak and needs to be replaced? O'Reilly Auto Parts will test your battery for free. If your battery needs to be replaced, our professional parts people can help you find the best superstar battery for your vehicle and budget. Don't wait. Get your battery tested for free today at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. ESPN Radio. And on the ESPN. I'm Kevin Winter. That'll do a cross on the AutoZone halftime afford for the Miami Heat. Caleb Martin, Duncan Robinson, and Gabe Vincent have combined to knock down seven of the nine threes. Miami once again more three pointers than Boston. The Heat are shooting 58% from the floor, 45% from beyond the arc. And Boston scores just 46 points, 61 46. The second half of game three. Back to Casillas Center with the Heat trying to take the commanding three games that are lead with Ross going to winning in Doris Park. Here's Dave Pack. Hey, Kevin, you just mentioned all the numbers, Doris. Why is Miami's defense been so suffocating on Boston? 42% shooting. Tatum and Brown were combined. Three for 12 shooting in that second quarter. Well, they send a lot of defense in their direction. I think they do an incredible job keeping them off balance with their switching and switching into that zone. I want to talk about Boston's defense here, though, Dave Cash. They just gave up two quarters of plus 30, 30 and 31. They allowed the Heat to shoot 57.5% and 42.5% from three. You are the Boston Celtics. You've got to be more physical. Your rotations have got to be cleaner. You've got to bring a level of physicality without fouling. And to Kevin's point, Boston 
Houston came into the conference finals the best in the league, 39.5% from three-point territory. Give uh, Miami a ton of credit. Another half where they're 5 for 16, just 31%. All right, before we start the third, here's Ross. In the locker room, we heard from Coach Missoula, who gave a pulse on the locker room. He said it was a positive locker room in there despite the deficit. And that he told his team they got to focus on taking care of the ball. It's a possessions game. Possessions was important. And then defense on threes, and it'll help them by having better transition defense. Guys. Well, Ross, they did get it down to 15. It was a 22-point lead at one point for Miami. Keep this in mind, though, Miami has won 40 consecutive playoff games when they've led it half by 10 points or more. That is remarkable, considering that they themselves have come back from double digits twice already in this series to win two games. Miami turns it over on the opening possession, a careless pass to the near sideline, 15 seconds in, and it's Boston ball. Gabe Vincent over-penetrated into three green black jerseys, excuse me, the Celtics are wearing black, and then expects his teammate to bail him out. I mean, Bam had no shot of catching that ball. It was behind him. And a delay of game warning. <laughs> Boston basketball, Tatum into the front court on the left side. Tatum just 4 for 11 in that first half. He did have 10 rebounds, he's just 9 points. Fires to the left corner, Jalen Brown 3 is on the way. He missed again, he's 0 for 5 from 3. Offensive rebound, Smart, and Smart scores with a floater and is fouled on the putback. A 3-point chance for Marcus Smart. That alone is a great sign, the fight from Marcus Smart who at points in that first half did not look as intense as typical, takes it away from Bam out of bio, absorbs the contact, and still scores it, and then flexes and tries to motivate his teammates. Foul on Bam is second. Free throw is good from Smart. And Boston back within 12. 30 seconds into the third quarter. 61-49 Miami. Trying to go up 3-0 in the series. Game four Tuesday night. Vincent driving right side. Goes into the paint. Gets all the way to the rim. Scoop and score with the right hand. Brown quickly into the front court to our right with Al Horford taking a three from straight away. It's an air ball. Another bad miss for Boston from three. Now five of 18 out of bounds to Miami. Uh, Jalen Brown 0 for 5 from three-point territory. Al Horford now 2 for 4. We've seen air balls from Brown, Horford, Smart from three-point range. Miami by 14, a minute into the third. Butler on the right side. Backing down his defender, now a follow jumper, and he drills it, plus a foul on Tatum, a three-point chance for Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler stays on the ground an extra second and almost in relief. Even though he gets the foul call, he is talking to Curtis Blair because he feels like he's been fouled on numerous occasions, and it's taken some time for him to get the whistle. So Butler, how to try to complete the three-point play. Foul is on Derek White, his second. Free throw is good from Butler. So Buck gets one big play to start the third. Miami comes right back, though, with five straight points to lead 66-49. Brown driving right of the lane, gets into the lane, and puts it in off the glass. See, that's, that's what I think he should do for a bit, is straight line drive. It uses size and athleticism and speed. It's Gabe Vincent. He scored consistently on Gabe. Started four for seven. He's two for his last eight, including that layup. He's got 12 points. Miami ball, front court to our left. Butler on the right wing, working on White. Into the paint. Shovel pass out top of the circle. Three is good from Struis. And the lead back to 18, two minutes into the third quarter. Ten threes by the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler playing off the double. Good kick out pass. Tatum with the ball on the left side. Working on Struis between the leg dribble. Horford right wing catching two, three. That one too strong. Rebound Butler. And then a foul is called here. Martin and Smart having words with one another. And and Smart goes up to him and, you know, looks like he's trying to calm the situation down. I'm going to go to the monitor here to see if there was anything flagrant. Not sure if a personal foul was called or not, or if they just stopped play to go look at the monitor. Or is this going to be a double technical, maybe? Both teams are going to their benches. Really on the floor, foul on Smart, but reviewing the play for potential hot flat. So they did call a personal foul on Smart, his second, second team foul. Now they're going to see if 
it should be upgraded or if there's a technical foul because it was a, a dead ball situation. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a flagrant. That's gonna be something for sure. The way Mark is smart. Um, so so this is what happened, folks. Marcus is crashing for 15 feet. Martin is in front of him trying to go get the rebound. Marcus throws his right forearm toward the body of Caleb Martin. To me, that's definitely good. Do you think that's considered yeah. a hostile act? Yeah. In fact, when he shoved him, it actually looked like he threw a punch. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm glad you now, saw what I saw. He missed. He didn't make contact with a punch, but the motion sure looked like... I don't think it matters if you make contact. Right, right. And, and I'm saying, it, it, if nothing else, it's a technical. The question is, will they call it a flagrant foul? Because the act did occur after, I think, the whistle blew and they had called a personal foul. We're going to throw a common foul. We might be ball out of bounds. Wow. I am absolutely right. stunned by that. I, I thought they would have added at least a technical because the foul was called and then wow. Martin shoved Martin's arm, but it almost looked like a, a punch. I, I got to be honest with you, I, I'm shocked that this is just a, a, a personal foul. So it will be Miami ball leading Boston 69-51 with 9.58 to play in the third quarter. Marcus Smart having a lengthy conversation with Tony Brothers, who you just heard a minute ago. I think he's frustrated thinking he's getting pushed underneath the basket, and there, there should have been an offensive foul or a loose ball foul called on the Heat. Butler in the backcourt, guarded by Tatum. 12 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds for Jimmy Butler. Fires to Adebayo, top of the circle. And keeps the right-hand dribble, now stops it. Got to give it up, though. Finds Butler with Grant Williams on him. 7 to shoot on the far wing. Now Horford has him on the switch. And an offensive foul is called here gonna be on Ben Adebayo. Yeah. Illegal screen trying to free Jimmy Butler. And probably because of the way his... his body position was. His legs were so widely spread. It's, it's unnatural. So the foul on Bam is his third. Boston ball. Front court to our right. Williams at the right elbow. Hands off for Jalen Brown. And now we got another offensive foul as Bam out of bio hits the deck. Knocked over by Al Horford. And that is the first on Al. Boy, there's a lot of frustration happening right now for the Boston Celtics. Lots of frustration. Mainly by the score, 69-51 Miami, 9.28 to go in the third. At least that's what they should be more concerned with than anything else right now. Max Bruce, top of the circle, left-hand dribble, gets into the lane, lob for Bam. Oh, what a play! Bam with a throw down with a right hand. That ball was way above the rim. Bam caught it and in one motion smashed it. 10-2 heat run. Right side, a shot from Smart from 10 feet is off the mark. Rebound, Vincent pulls up for three in transition. It's good! And the lead is up to 23, the largest of the game for Miami. Time on Boston, and the Celtics in big, big trouble. Boston Celtics, visible frustration all over the floor. Marcus Smart just tries to get a whistle. Non-call. You are at a deficit on the defensive end of the floor. Numbered break in the gunslinger. Gabe Vincent steps into an easy three. Plenty of time left, but Miami looks to be like the more inspired team. 74-51. They lead the Celtics three minutes into the third. You're listening to the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. As a kid, I played a lot of ball on these streets. And I always played to win. As a lawyer, I make sure my clients know they're getting a winner. Have you been told your case is a loser? Give me a shot. I'm a fighter. Someone who's going to swing for the fences to get you the money you deserve. I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Fast. 
Listen up, small business owner. This might be the most important we make. Need help navigating through the employee retention credit? You can trust the pros at Omega Accounting Solutions. I can personally vouch for Omega. They help me navigate this tax credit with my business. With Omega's help, you could be eligible to receive $26,000 per employee if you pay wages during COVID. All it takes is a free 10-minute consultation call with Omega to see if you qualify. Visit omegataxcredits.com slash BART. It worked for me. It will work for you. Call 855-411-BART now. If new Heineken Silver was an old-timey radio drama. Well, Dottie, this is the end of our show. Don't go, Johnny boy. Dance with me one last time. I'd love to cut a rug like Hitterbucks, but I've changed my tune. So, this a new Heineken Silver. You know what? Let's shake a leg, because I'm staying. You mean it? You better believe it. If I don't stay, then I'm a monkey's uncle. Get all the taste. No bitter empties. Crisp and refreshing Heineken Silver. Only 3.2 grams of carbs, 95 calories. Order now at Heineken.com slash silver. Must be 21 and older to purchase. Enjoy Heineken responsibly. Kevin Rich with you inside our great studio at Boston Tactics for station identification. You're listening to the Eastern Conference Finals on the ESPN Radio. The ESPN Act presented by Indeed. This is your exclusive home for Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. I'm here because I believe in this team and I'm excited about the new adventure here in New York. How about you? ESPN FM. If you missed it earlier at Oak Hill Country Club, Brooks Kepka wins his fifth major, capturing the PGA Championship. Dave Pass, Doris Burke, Roz Goodwin. How about PGA professional Michael Block shoots an even par, finishes top 15, and hits a hole in one. Highlight of the weekend. Back to you guys. I was watching it live when he had the hole in one. It was really cool. Rory McIlroy's reaction to him was really cool. It was a great scene at the PGA Championship. Meanwhile. Jason Tatum, I, they may have called the technicals. Did they call a tee on Jimmy Butler for the timeout sign? Because Tatum's at the line shooting a free throw. We're about 40 rows up, so we do not have access to the officials. So It was on Spruce, oh, Spruce. they say. Technical on Spruce. So the, the, the sign you're pointing to is... Al Horford, after a made three that he makes, he loves it when the opposing team calls a timeout. Jimmy Butler gave him a little of his own medicine back. 13-3 run by Miami after Boston cut it to 12. Tatum in the middle of the lane, puts up the shot and scores his first basket since the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. I like that call after the dead ball timeout, right? you got to get your star started, so Joe Mazzula designs one. Boston still down 20. Here's Vincent left wing. He'll hoist. And hit a three. Gabe Vincent, seven of eight, four of five from three. They were 27th in the regular season at three-point percentage. They are raining it down on the Boston Celtics. 12 of 23. Meanwhile, Boston, five for 19 from three. Left wing Tatum. He'll try to answer with a three. It's too strong and rebounded by Martin of Miami. Eight minutes to go in the third. The lead back to 23, matching the largest of the game for the Heat. Got a foul called away from the ball on Horford, who's really upset with Kevin Scott, who called the foul. Second on Horford, third team foul. Well, Robert Williams set the check in. Malcolm Bronson replaces Marcus Smart. Al can cool off on the bench because here comes RW3. Three fouls for Robert Williams in just four minutes. Miami ball, Bam out of bio, head of the circle. Handoff Spruce, top of the key. Now moves to the right wing, bounce pass, Bam putting to the middle of the lane. He missed the dunk, but he was fouled. He was going to hammer that one down, but Jason Tatum got in the way, picked up his second foul. How about his development, Bam out of bio? We asked Eric Spolster about this pregame, Dave, and his response was, we didn't know what we had, to be perfectly honest with you. We, we put him in our program. He was working with Juwan Howard, trying to build normal big man skills. But Bam, who is voracious in terms of his desire to improve, would finish an hour workout with the bigs, see the guards at the other end, and just jump into that workout. Then the wings. And then all of a sudden Miami said, you know what? That guy can handle it a little bit. Maybe we'll look to facilitate with him on the offensive end. It's an amazing thing to me when you come with certain level of skill 
but your intention to get better is what pushes you to a next level. And that's what Bam Adebayo has done. We talked about it earlier with Gabe Vincent. He, he went to the coaching staff said, how do I make the NBA team? They said, well, you got to be more than a gunslinger. you got to be a combo guard. Well, look what he's doing tonight. He's a leading scorer in the game. He's got 18 points. Vincent, undrafted out of UCSB. Bam Adebayo, a mid-first-round pick out of Kentucky. The lead is 25, 745 to go. In the third quarter, Celtics in danger of going down 0-3. Grant Williams, right side, dribbles, middle of the lane. Floater is good from six feet. 79-56 Miami. Bam out of bio, right side of the front court. Stop to the elbow. Leaves for Butler. He's got 12 points on eight shots. Only one three-point attempt for Butler. Shot clock at eight. Butler on the right baseline. Puts it up from there. That one spins out. Rebounded by the Celtics. Simple two-man game. Nobody but Bam and Jimmy touched it. Tatum driving and got it blocked by Bam out of bio. Loose ball into the hands of Butler. They got numbers three on two. Butler right wing. Wait. Now fires to the left corner. Vincent rhythm dribble and drives through the lane. It's Martin right side of three. It's good. And the lead is 26 for the Heat. Good to great shot. Multiple guys passed up scoring opportunities to fight a wide open Vincent. They say a two. They may change that one like they did another one. Now Tatum turns it over. Spruce wide open with the layup on the other end. Joe Missoula walks out of the floor as Spruce caught the pass to call a timeout because the Celtics are in danger of dropping another game here to the Heat. They're imploding, and frankly, for a team that's got as much big-time game experience as they have, they look young, they look disconnected, and they look outclassed. Could we be heading for two sweeps in the conference finals? Maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Maybe not looking at the way this game in this series has gone for the Celtics. It's 83-56 to Miami, 6.41 to go in the third. This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, AutoZone is here to help. What if I need a new one? We have the right battery right here at America's number one battery destination. And what if I don't know how to connect it? No problem. We have a how-to for you at AutoZone.com. Restrictions apply. A lot of new enrollments, huh? Braylon, Braden. Monique's daycare is crawling with new arrivals. Hey, sweetie, are you hungry? She needs more early childhood educators. Did your socks slip off again? And a map. Hey there, little guy. Okay. <laughs> Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Remember college, early morning classes, all-night study sessions, and somewhere in there, maybe even a social life, five-hour energy got you through. Now, you've got responsibilities, work, bills, a family. Five-hour energy is still here with the same alert, energized feeling you relied on back then. Every day, five-hour energy helps millions just like you be at their best when it really matters. Rediscover five-hour energy. We'll get you through again. For more information, visit fivehourenergy.com. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who is currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. with you inside our Granger studio. Dave Pash brought it up before we hit the break. Are we in line for two series sweeps in the conference finals? Time now for Did You Know? Brought to you by Geico. Switch to Geico today and see all the ways you can save. It's easy. Simply go to geico.com to get a rate quote and get started seeing how much you can save. Dave, Doris, and Roz, the conference finals were established in 1970-71, east and west. There has never been one postseason where there have been sweeps on either side. In fact, there's only been one conference finals year in 2015 where each were free love. Back to you. Wow. 
That's incredible. And, and yes, we have a ways to go. Obviously, the Lakers are a team with a lot of pride and a team that came back from a 2-10 and ten start to the season to get to the conference finals. Remains to be seen if Denver can win again in L.A. Looks a little bit different here. It just feels different watching the Celtics as they cut it to 12 early in the third, but now you look up and they're down 27 at the midway point. Brogdon right wing puts up a three. No good and no black jerseys under the basket. Only Heat players and Butler gets the rebound. Butler at the top of the key, guarded by Williams, who switches out on him, so Butler pulls it out. Calls for a ball screen, but out of bio got tied up. Now they bounce it to him. Shot clock at five. He's facing up on Tatum. Left-hand dribble. Spins. Leans in. Timer at one. Screws has to put it up. Does on the right side. And almost made it. Hit the front rim. Rebound by Jalen Brown. Inside six minutes to play. Pull up three from Brown. Left side. Missed again. He is 0 for 6 from three. 2 for 19 in the series. And as the Miami Heat have pushed this lead to where it is, your respective stars have two and three points in this third quarter. They are combined. Tatum and Brown 11 of 30. As Martin drives and scores with the right hand. The layup that pushes the lead at 29, the largest of the series for Miami. Five and a half to go in the third. Brown lobs for Williams. Deep in the lane. Stripped by Vincent. Miami ball. There's one team hustling and playing with heart and authority and confidence as Gabe lets it fly. Bam going to get an offensive rebound. Jalen Brown going to foul him. There's one team competing harder than the other. Grant Williams said before the game, we have a choice to make. I don't believe we're built to lay down. With 5.17 remaining, feels an awful lot like the Celtics have conceded this. There's They've no, got to find something from their stars, Dave Pash. And that's the thing, right? I mean, you, your teams are a reflection of your star players. Look at Miami behind Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. And then you look at Boston and how they're playing tonight with Tatum and Brown struggling. Bam at the line. The first free throw was good. Again, Tyler Hero was starter. A 20-point-per-game score. Lost in game one of the postseason. Victor Oladipo, a key rotation guy, hurt a couple of games later out for the postseason. Kevin Love gets hurt in this game. He had five points in five minutes. We haven't seen him since because he got hurt, but it doesn't seem to matter because who's ever on the floor, they follow the leaders, and Bam and Butler are that for the Heat. Free throw is good. The lead is 31. Well, absolutely incredible to see a, a Boston team that came out of the gates to start the season so hot. Look this back. Bogdan throws to the left wing, Brown, another three-point try, another miss for Brown, 0 for 7, rebound Miami. I, I don't think that's a great option for him right now. You, you, you're not going to get it back with one shot. There are no home runs here. And it can also always get worse. It can go from 31 to 41 quickly. It was 23 just a minute ago. Butler in the lane gets fouled, throws it up, missed it, but it's on Robert Williams, and Butler will go to the line. And one of the things that happened in the last game, and you don't normally look at time of possession in an NBA game. It's just not something to think about. But Miami had the ball for almost seven more minutes than Boston in game two. With the lead like this, Jimmy Butler's just going to command the ball. They're going to get it underneath him in every possession. Because that's who they are, right? Methodical, get to their spots, create open shots, help one another. And now you're in complete command of the game, so you can dictate pace. And with a lead at 32, as Butler gets the free throw, there's the potential that Jimmy Butler doesn't have to play as many minutes as he had in games one and two. Knock down the second free throw. We'll see how long he's out there. Right now it's a 33-point game. Scott Riley just being shown on the TV screen. He's got a little Cheshire cat grin on his face. No point from the last three minutes for the Celtics. They're down 33 with four and a half to go. Brown at the top of the key. Throws to Brockton who gets into the lane. A runner off the front iron from the right side. Rebounded by Williams though. And the putback is good. Hey, look, all night Robert Williams has played with fire. Aggression. Hits the glass with authority. Meanwhile, Tatum and Brown are combined one for 11 from the floor, Tate, or from three-point range. Tatum's on the bench right now. 89-58 Miami, four minutes to go in the third quarter. Screws on the right side, coming off the screen. Tried to bounce pass to Bam Adebayo, was knocked out of bounds. Should be a reset to 14, I think. I thought that was a kick ball. They've not yet reset. 
shut the shot clock, mm. so it's at six. Tatum checking back in, so they must have ruled that it wasn't a kick. Tatum replacing Grant Williams. They'll guard the inbound passer. It's Jimmy Butler on the far sideline. Boston 4-2 and two on the road in the playoffs coming into today. But getting blown out. Butler right baseline falling away. And he missed it as the timer hit one. Rob Williams got the rebound behind the back. Pass. The Jalen Brown kind of unnecessary. Almost turned it over. Left corner, Tatum is wide open, takes his time, fires, and misses the three. One for five, one for 12. Tatum and Brown combined. Della running the floor, middle of the lane, missed the shot, but he's fouled by White. 31-point lead in the last two it at the line here with 3.36 to go in the third. Opportunistic transition push by Jimmy Butler has contr controlled the pace last several possessions. While on the rim run by his bend, you don't reward the guy when he's running that hard. Boston Celtics made the NBA Finals a year ago. And when Milwaukee went down, losing to Miami in five games, most said they're the favorites to do it. But they had a couple of hiccups in the Atlanta series. That series went to six. Boston couldn't close it out at home in game five. You did a couple of games in the Philly series. That one went to seven. They were down 3-2. Had to come back, win game, win game six and seven to win that series. Joe Mazzilla has told this group, you're playing with fire as... Zeller misses it. They like adversity, but eventually that catches up to you. Marcus Smart, right side of the front court, throws it out of bounds. Trying to hit a cutting Jason Tatum on the right baseline. 3.25 to go in the third quarter. 89-58 Miami, about to go up 3-0 in the series, barring a miracle comeback by the Celtics. Three from Spruce, left side, off target, and it's rebounded by Brogdon. Derek White in the four court. He'll shoot, miss a three. Boston is five for 25 for three. Rebound heat. Lowry at the right elbow. They'll pull it back out. Inside three minutes to go now in the third. Skip pass to Lowry left wing. Blows by Smart and tried to kick it out and threw it to the bench. Probably should have put that up once he got in the lane. He had the floater. If he jump stops at the free throw line, it's an easy opportunity. We've been talking a lot about Tatum and Brown. Cesar's mentioned that Malcolm Brogdon, the sixth man of the year, hasn't scored. He's 0 for 6 and 0 for 3. So your, your third most reliable offensive player has done nothing for you tonight. Boston just turned it over again. They've had zero fight and zero spirit. Miami ball from court on the right side is Jimmy Butler. Worth it past him under the basket. Keeps the dribble, though, and gets it back outside. Shot clock at 7. Butler right wing. Team up 31. Butler going to take a 20-footer from the right side. And it's not there. Rebound is smart. Boston is 37%. Miami is 58% shooting. Smart right wing. Skips to Derek White. Three on the way. Wow. We're good. Another miss. So Boston's record, when they shoot 40% of and above from three-point territory, almost unbeatable. They shoot below that, they are a very mediocre team, the record would say. At this point, maybe you put Hauser and Pritchard on the floor just to see if you can get some threes, and you know, maybe somehow you get it down to 25. Here's Tatum on a run. going to get a dunk in transition. His 14th point. Eric Spolster calls a timeout with 1.43 to go. He's not wasting any time with that timeout. He didn't like how the last several minutes of play had gone. So even only minute 43, you got a 29-point lead. Eric Spolster says, not happening. Timeout Miami. We had a good conversation with Eric Spolster today about Joe Missoula asking Coach about the experience that he had as a young coach and understanding what Joe Missoula's going through. And he said, no question, with all the pressure and everything, he, he, he was very complimentary of Joe, said they got to know each other uh, in the bubble when Joe was uh, an assistant coach. Miami went to the finals that year, beat Boston in the, uh, the conference finals to get there. Spo has been there, and... At this point, you're Joe Missoula. I mean, you, oh, you're how many take, more speeches do you have to a veteran team? Yeah, listen, you're going to take some heat in the aftermath of this series. There's no question about it, and deservedly so, right? I mean, there's going to be some questions about why Grant Williams was in and out of the rotation so many times in the course of the regular season and the postseason. There's going to be questions about why you sprinkled in the double big, but you didn't really want to give it an extended look 
that was a lineup that was critical to your advancing to the NBA Finals a year ago. But you got to look at your two best players at times as well. And tonight in particular, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they are combined 12 for 33. And we've already talked ad nauseum about their failures in the fourth quarter in this series. And throwing Brogdon in there, and those three guys are 12 for 39. Because Brogdon's 0 for 6 there. Those three guys, 1 for 15 from 3. Marcus Smart also has just six points. He's a guy, historically, has had big offensive games in the playoffs. But after a good half, game one, in terms of assists, we really haven't seen much from Smart. Miami ball with a minute 30 remaining in the third. They lead 89-60. to 60. Jimmy Butler on the left side in the front court. Holds the ball out high with his right hand. Now hits Sellers. Low, pit, a low post left. Goes into the paint. Powers the shot up. And it drops against Derek White. Jimmy Butler wanted that matchup because Zeller had such a significant size advantage. Took some time, but they got there. Zeller, the ninth Miami player to score in the game. Right wing, Derek White, little rhythm dribble, three ball, good for White. He is one guy who has shot the ball extremely well in this series from three. He's now three for six tonight. Third is nine for 16 in the series from three to your point. 50 seconds left, 91-63 Miami. Butler in between the rings. Keeps the dribble as he's guarded by Robert Williams, 20 feet away on the right side. A sidestep jumper and is down for Butler. He's got 16 points now. Only 12 field goal attempts for him. He's been to the line seven times, eight rebounds, seven assists. Tatum up top, his three, too strong. Offensive rebound, Smart goes back up and kicks it out to Brogdon on the right side. Skip pass, Tatum, another three ball from the left wing. Again missed. He's one for seven from three. Rebound Miami. Boy, what an ugly performance by Tatum and Brown tonight. About a two-second difference in the game and shot clock. 12 seconds to go in the quarter. 30-point Miami lead. Butler with five to shoot. In between the circles, 30 feet away. Two on the time. Moves to his right. Another sidestep jumper. This time he missed. And that's the end of the third quarter. Miami will take a 30-point lead to the fourth. Everybody standing here at Kaseya Center. The Heat about to go up 3-0 on the Boston Celtics. At the end of three, 93-63 Miami. This is the Eastern Conference Finals in ESPN Radio. The ESPN app presented by Indeed. NBAstore.com, the official online store of the NBA. And the world's largest selection of officially licensed NBA fan gear. With unique designs by Fanatics. Nike. And all the latest styles for every NBA team. Plus one-of-a-kind products and authentic collectibles. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com. A Fanatics experience. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Does your vehicle have over 75,000 miles? Get maximum high mileage engine protection with new Syntec full synthetic high mileage motor oil exclusively at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, get five quarts of Syntec high mileage and a MicroGuard select oil filter for just $34.99. Limit supply. Ask for Syntec high mileage at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Sherwin Williams and get 35% off Emerald products and Super Deck stains May 19th through the 22nd. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Stop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Susan has always wanted to live in a chateau. I like a certain je ne sais quoi. While Jake is more into the Cape Cod style home. It's a classic look. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they could save even more. In the end, Susan and Jake found a Cape Cod style home where they will only speak French. Bonjour, je t'aime, uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, cordon bleu. You'll get better with time. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. Kevin went to it, 
to inside our Granger studio. This was Jalen Brown before the game today. Talk to you about how important game number three was. Tonight is uh, probably one of the biggest tests of my career. Probably one of the biggest tests of, you know, our organization in a long time, being down 0-2 on the road. Um, it's going to take a tremendous amount of effort and fight to get back into the series, but I think we're capable of doing it. Test failed. Go to the fourth in game three, Miami 93, Boston 63. Before we go to Dave Pash and Doris Burke, here's Ron's go to winning on the sidelines to Kaseya Center. Thanks, Kevin. Earlier, Doris mentioned the development of Bam Adebayo. Well, one aspect, his diet. He told me his diet is his best con his conditioning tool. He tries not to put anything bad in his body throughout the season. During the summer, he allows himself two weeks to eat like a pig, but that's it. And he loves Chick-fil-A, but he won't allow it in season. He said a boring diet is what it takes. A lot of chicken, salmon, eggs, white. Turkey bacon, cauliflower, rice, a lot of water. It got so boring that he started to allow himself a limit of one and a half cups of juice a day just to mix it up, guys. I know what I'm having in about 12 minutes. That's what I know. It's red. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Celtics might be having some as well. They're down 30, 15 seconds into the fourth. And how about this? Joe Mazzulla, as Grant Williams has called for the offensive foul in the lane. Joe Mazzulla has put in Luke Cornett. Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard. They're on the floor with Smart and Williams. Brown, Tatum, nowhere to be found on the court. Brogdon on the bench as well. And your two stars are combined 12 for 35. There were moments in that last quarter where Jason Tatum was jogging up and down the floor. He wasn't getting back defensively. Kyle Lowry in the front court to our left. 93-63 Miami. 30 seconds in to the fourth quarter. Dave Vincent in the right corner, shot clock at two, has to put it up, he does, missed it, and it's rebounded by Smart. Celtics down 30 for just the second time all year, including the regular season. Smart three-pointer left side, no good, but batted out by Cornette. Dave Pritchard has it, hesitation dribble, puts up a bank shot from the left of the lane, it's good, and he's fouled by Lowry, a three-point chance here for Peyton Pritchard. Well, you know Peyton Pritchard, regardless of the score, is going to be a competitive, tough player. I mean, he made notice of this, you know, made some headlines in Boston where he was out of the rotation and said, I'd like to be somewhere where I'm needed. And so you wonder in the future, is he perhaps in another jersey? Well, if, if the Celtics somehow get swept, there might be a lot of players in other jerseys. It, it's going to be a very interesting offseason for this Boston Celtics team. And again, no team as Zeller puts up a floater that misses and rebounded by the Celtics. No team has overcome an 0-3 deficit in the history of the NBA playoffs. Sweeps obviously feel a lot worse especially after you make the NBA Finals, and they haven't had much fight or spirit tonight, which makes you concerned if you're a Celtic fan about Game 4. But this group doing a good job. Peyton Pritchard a lob and a dunk by Cornette at the left of the rim. They got it down to 25. 93-68 with 10.20 to go here on the fourth. Joe Mazzulla wanted some fight. He's getting it from this unit. Seller pushed out in the lane. Good over Cornette from 10 feet. And again, that's Duncan Robinson handling it in two-man action and delivering a timely pass. In the lane, Marcus Smart got tripped. He'll go to the line. How about the bench for Miami? 29 points. Martin, 15. Robinson, 10. Lowry and Zeller with four apiece. <laughs> Fouls on Gabe Vincent. Free throws for Smart. Tonight's attendance, 20,088. Brought to you by Vivid Seats, where you earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats Rewards is your tickets and more tickets. Vivid Seats, life happens live. First free throw good from Smart. So you can, you know, this, this game plays out the way it goes. And you mentioned a possible sweep. There's going to be a lot of hard questions asked of a lot of different people in the Celtics organization. Now, this group's been together for a long time. Now, they've been able to get to the NBA Finals the one time last year, but without a championship, you wonder if that means personnel changes. They just signed Joe Mazzulla, who was the interim coach after the Ime Udoka debacle. As a Martin shot doesn't go from the right wing, rebounded Boston. Richard uh, Hauser, top of the key, puts up a three. 
can't hit it. Off the foot of Zeller, out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Celtics with 9.29 to go. 95-70, Miami. So much made of the Brown and Tatum relationship. Could they play together? Brad Stevens never overreacted. Said consistently, those two are not the problem. You're talking about a lot of money potentially now that both guys have made an NBA team, Dave. In the new CBA, what does signing them both back look like? to the five-year maximum deals. Now, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but these are some suppositions, some possibilities that you've got to consider based on the outcome of this series. Look at Philadelphia in a very similar situation this year. First domino to fall was Doc Rivers. Despite going to the conference semis three straight years, Kyle Lowry on the right side, and he gets fouled by Marcus Smart trying to fight through a Zeller screen. 9-11 to go in the fourth. 95-70, Miami leads. And I'm going to say this, you know, for two guys who have been to multiple conference finals and, and an NBA finals, there have been moments in this postseason where Tatum and Brown haven't looked like it or comported themselves like it between the lines. Robinson in between the circles, five to shoot, moves to the right elbow, puts up a jumper, and it's short, rebounded by Pritchard. Richard into the front court, hits smart right wing, wide open look for three, but it's short. Offensive rebound, Hauser, back out to Williams for three, right corner, no good. And Lowry with a long rebound. And then he's fouled by Pritchard, 13 foul, 8.47 to go, still 25-point lead for Miami. Sorry, Dave, just, just abysmal. I mean, a team that was consistently in the top three in threes made for he's attempted and top six in percentage. Boston is six for 33. 18 percent. They have 26 threes all series. Vincent right side moves to the left elbow. Stops, pops, hits. Lead back to 27 with 8.20 remaining. Also have to worry, you know, wonder about Al Horford at his age. How much longer is he going to go? More questions than answers, maybe, for the Celtics, depending on how things play out the rest of the series. Martin in the front court for Miami after a defensive stop. Robinson penetrates. Try to float or got blocked from behind by Hauser. Saves it in the right corner. Eight minutes to go. Miami 97, Boston 70. Hauser walks into a three straight on, knocks it down. Very high on Sam Hauser as an organization. They, they believe because of his shooting prowess, he can help them at some point. You know, Mike Muscala, we haven't seen him in forever. He's about to check into the game for Boston. As a timeout is called here by Eric Spolstra, so Joe Mazzula saying, Tatum and Brown, you're done. 12 of 35, 1 for 14 from 3. We're going to let some of these other guys play, and uh, they have cut into the deficit. It's 97-73 Miami with 7.43 to play. We're listening to these from Conference Finals at ESPN Radio and ESPN app, presented by the team. to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist for the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with New York City's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you can get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS.
Dave Rothenberg here. Looking to take your business to that next level? Well, Sharp Hat has been creating advanced custom software solutions for over 20 years. Sharp Hat software empowers companies both large and small, including the most popular football leagues in the world. Take your business to the next level with the team at Sharp Hat. Go to sharphat.com slash Dave today for a free consultation. Sharp Hat's creative solutions will enhance your company's competitive edge. When your standards are high and success matters, call Sharp Hat. Visit sharphat.com slash Dave for a free consultation today. Kevin Rocha with you inside our Granger studio. Miami is in cruise control. They've been there for a while. 743 to go, 9773 over Boston tomorrow night. Darvin Ham and his Lakers try to keep their season alive. We're alive, man. The series is not over. You know, the people want to throw out the odds. And again, don't get me wrong, we're facing a hell of a ball club. One talented bunch that's very well coached. But, you know, we have things we can do as well. Only thing we have to do is just focus on one game. So as we get set to go back to say a center, Dave Pash, Doris Burke, Roscoe to Wooday, when these finals begin, I don't think anyone ever would have predicted Boston and the Lakers each being an 0-3 series hole. But we're 743 away from that happening, guys. It's 24 right now. Miami in front of Boston. The crowd on its feet again. Trying to keep the fans engaged. And it stayed pretty full. There are a little pockets here and there of fans that have left. But for the most part, they're enjoying the show and sticking around for the end. 743 to play. Teams like Tatum, Brown, Brogdon are done for the day. Miami stars Butler and Bam Adebayo are not in the game either and haven't been this quarter. A chance for those guys to get some rest. Game four on Tuesday here in Miami in the Eastern Conference Finals. Dave Vincent on the left side. Little hesitation dribble and a three. And he drills it again. He's got 23 points. He's so pictured enough on the drive. The hard stop. That's the elite break by Gabe Vincent. I don't know if getting to 100 gets you free tacos, but based on what we had pregame, if you get free tacos, we're all in. <laughs> we're outstanding. Three-pointer is good from Cornette on the right side in the front court. Cornette gives them great regular season minutes. There were times throughout the course of the year where he was in the rotation, not getting a ton of minutes, but certainly 10 to 15. Lowry left side along two, off the mark, rebound by Hauser. 6.45 to go in the game. It's 100 to 76 Miami. Richard on the right wing at the three-point line. Back up top, Grant Williams will try a long three. That's good for Williams. Back-to-back -back threes. You can see the mindset of this unit is no different from the others. Go for three. On the other end, a driving layup from Vincent is good. And a foul. So Vincent has got 25 points will go to the line. Each game in this series, each game in this playoffs for that matter. Yes, it's Jimmy Butler. Yes, it's Bam out of bio, but there's always somebody else, and it might not be the same player each night. And it's so true. And you think about, and so much has been made, seven undrafted players on the roster, and all of them have had moments of shining in this series. Duncan Robinson has been consistent in this series, shooting the basketball, making plays, backdoor cutting. Gabe Vincent a little more up, up and down, screws the same thing. But you're right, they, they have got some balance. Hauser couldn't handle the pass, right corner turned it over, 6.24 to go, 103.79. Miami leads, by the way, 26 points combined for Brown and Tatum. That's the second fewest combined points in a game this season for that duo, and it happens to come in game three of the conference finals. Zeller at the top of the circle. Hands off for Duncan Robinson at the elbow left. Bounce to Zeller. Driving layup with the right hand. No good. And it's rebounded by Boston. Aiden Pritchard in the front court on the right wing. Hauser, top of the key, straight on three. Off the back rim, no. And it was tipped in by Cornette, who got a hand on the ball with his right hand. Well, you got two guys that are the ultimate professionals. Mascala and Cornette, always ready to play when their numbers fall. Five and a half to go. It's 103-81 Miami. Top of the key, three. Martin, front rim and in. Boy, everything has dropped for him throughout this series. Four for seven tonight. 18 points. Four for seven from three, I should say. 7-11 overall. Richard driving right side, gets in the lane and scores. Good use of his body against the bigger defender. I'll say this to you. There's no wasted minutes in the NBA. There's executives all around the league paying attention to this. Richard wants to be a play, in a place where he can play. He's trying.
trying to prove it. The eye in the sky, the camera that has the videotape, so everybody watches film all the time. Vincent, another three. He's got 29 points, six of nine from three. That was from straight on. 109-83, Miami. Richard in the corner on the right side, fires into the paint. Layup for the right hand, won't go from Cornette. Rebound, Lowry had Robinson in the front court, left side. Walks into a three, and he buries it. 112-83, Joe Mazzula calls another timeout with 4.43 to go. Team for 32 from three. They made 16 threes in game one. They've got another 16 in game three. The Miami Heat putting on a show here in game three, destroying the Boston Celtics, 112-83, 4.43 to go. This is the Eastern Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving with new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service, delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit VividSeats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. Anywhere fans go to cheer on their team, there are behind-the-scenes MVPs ensuring everything is game-day ready. We see you, Joe. Fix the seat so every fan can enjoy every game. And Allie, who keeps her stadium running smoothly from the moment the first game starts to the last play of the season. At Granger, you're our MVP, and we're always here for you. With supplies and solutions for every industry and 24-7 customer support. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who's currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Studios, 443 to go in the fourth. All Miami and Hunting won three games. But I want to thank all of you who logged on to our Twitter account at NBA on ESPN and Radio to vote for the AutoZone in the Poll question 59% of you said Jimmy Butler would be the player to get in the zone tonight. The proper answer was anyone in Miami, and the wrong answer was anyone from Boston. That's basically how this game is going. Don't forget, 80s from the West, game four in the West, Denver up three blocks on the Lakers. Dave Doris and Ron said they started playing peepers yet in South Florida. I feel it's about that time. Fans have finally started to leave the building. The ones that are still here are enjoying this 112-83 lead. 4.43 to go. Dave Vincent, a career high, 29 points. We've seen Boston empty the bench at the start of the quarter. Miami's empty the bench. Nikola Jovic, not Nikola Jokic, <laughs> but Nikola Jovic of the Miami Heat is in the game. First round draft pick this past draft season. He's been battling injury, but is healthy now and getting a chance to get some minutes here. So Brent Williams taking a three and hitting it from the top of the circle for Boston. 112-89 Miami with four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. If you're a young player, it's exactly the kind of organization you hope to come to, right? You're going to get be given an opportunity to develop. You're going to be required to be in incredible condition. It's Duncan Robinson from what? 35 feet, that was at the uh, the K in Tissaia Center on the far side. Layup on the other end by Pritchard with a left hand and a foul. It's 115 to 88 in the free throw coming. Going back to the point you just made, though, there is a confidence level that Miami, those undrafted players you talk about, that they're allowed to get here because 
there's so much investment made in the organization in those guys that you get an opportunity, whether it's with the big team or down in the G League, they, they will give you chances. And, and they the look culture for, is real. They identify a certain type of player, hungry, willing to be coached, excellent work habits, and a little bit edgy. Like Max Bruce to the Division II school goes to DePaul and willing to compete. And uh, Gabe Vincent talks about it. You enter with a chip on your shoulder and it never leaves. And Miami fosters that chip. 3.45 to go. Robinson fouled on the three-point try left wing by Hauser. He missed it, but it'll go to the line. And the other thing, too, they demand and their players, when they scout them, do they love the game? Yes. They don't want players that basketball is about their brand or it's about a chance to make money. They want guys who love basketball and want to work at it. Yeah. Robinson at the line shooting three. First one goes. 38 points in the tank tonight for Miami. Brought to you by Sherwin Williams. Ask Sherwin Williams and save 35% on Emerald Products and Superdex stands now through May 22nd. Retail sales on one. Some exclusive supplies. He scores at each Second free throw good. 117 to 88. People are chanting, we want Haslam for Udonis Haslam, the oldest player in the NBA. They want him to get to the game here. My guess is he's going to get it. The way this is going is a tribute to a guy that's still active, even though he barely plays. He, he, they, they use that coach on the floor term a, a lot. Well, he's not on the floor, but he's a player that basically acts as another coach. Hauser in the lane, spinning, shooting on the left side, missed it. Put back Mescal and no, but a foul with 3.25 to go. There was a game earlier at this playoffs, and I'm not remembering who it was, but Haslam got into it with an opponent. Do you remember? We did a game here on TV. It was game three against Milwaukee. I, I don't think it was that. There might have been another game he got into, but he did get in at the end of that game. He put up one shot. It wasn't close. It didn't matter. Everybody cheered. First free throw good from Escala. And, and Eric Walsh is thinking about it. He's looking down at Dallas Haslam. I just wonder if it, he probably leaves it up. They call him UD. Probably up to him whether he wants to go in, right? Karan Butler is looking down the bench at the big man, UD. Saying, come on, big fella. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go. 118 to 90. Miami leads. Omer Yurtsevin has the ball left wing. Gives to Kyle Lowry. Back to Yurtsevin, low post left, backing down his man, jump hook with the right hand off the mark. Hornet rebounds for Boston. Three minutes to go. Game four on Tuesday night. Hauser gets bumped, missed the shot, he'll go to the line. If Boston were to win, we would be back in New England on Thursday for game five. Eric Spolster still has a smile on his face, by the way, as the crowd continues to chant, we want Haslam. Now, the other thing about Miami on TV right now on TNC, they're showing the championship banners. Think of the different versions of the Miami Heat through the years. It's been the same culture, though. You think about the 06 championship team, a veteran Shaq, a young Dwayne Wade. Then the championship teams of 12 and 13 with the big three, James, Wade, Bosch. And then the team that went to the finals in the bubble, Jimmy Butler's first year with the Heat. People said it was a match made in heaven. He's the perfect guy for Miami. And now they're one win away from getting another crack. And another banner with three of them here at Casella Center already in the Raptors. 2.40 to go in the game. Three-pointer left side. Good from Duncan Robinson. He's got 22 points. He has five for seven from three. 121.92. Pritchard able to get deep in the lane for the layup. 121.94 with 2.25 to go. But how about the bench? 18 for Martin, 22 for Robinson, 29 for Gabe Vincent. Omer Yurtsevin puts it in from the middle of the lane. Everybody's scoring right now for the Miami Heat. 2.15 to go, 123.94. Pritchard driving, reverse left, no good. And Jovic has it for the Heat. Ahead to Highsmith in the front court. Now Yurtsevin running the floor. Oh, he missed the alley-oop dunk, but Jovic there with the stick back. Inside, two minutes to go, 125-94, Miami. He led by 33 early in the third as Boston turns it over, throwing it away for a silent. 
11 to 12 in the opening minute of the third, and it looked like maybe Boston was going to have some fight. You pointed it out when Marcus Smart made the layup. He was pumping his fist, trying to inspire his teammates, but that lasted a very brief period of time because Miami answered that with their own emotional run, and they started to blow it open. 90 seconds to go, 125-94 Miami. Mascala right corner three. It's the back rim, rebound Hauser. Pritchard's going to try three left side, unable to connect. Mascala battling for the loose ball, and they're going to call a foul here to stop the clock with 125 to go. I really, I really could not be more emphatic about this. Everybody just assumed that Boston was the better team. And for three games, the tougher team, the one who won when the game was hanging in the balance, one had more grit and toughness and, and ability to execute under duress. The team that has disavowed us all of the notion that Boston was better is the Miami Heat. A one seed a year ago, basically the same nucleus, but injuries this year played a role in them finishing just 44 and 38, the seventh best record in the East, but an eighth seed, and they are one win away from advancing to the NBA Finals. They would be the second eighth seed ever in the NBA Finals. The 99 Knicks. Full disclosure, this is off the top of my head. I didn't have this note in front of me. I think the worst seed, the lowest seed to win an NBA championship was a sixth seed, the Houston Rockets back in the mid-90s. Obviously, we'll double-check that and have all that information for you, but I'm pretty sure it was a sixth seed. Miami, as an eighth seed, even though Denver's been brilliant, assuming they win one more game to us, they have a real chance against Denver. That should be, even if we might have two sweeps in the conference finals, the NBA finals should be a very lengthy 100, series. A hundred percent, yes. One minute to go, 125-97, Miami leads. Highsmith driving, kicks it out. Miami just throwing it around the perimeter, about 40 feet away from the basket. Shot clock at 10. Lowry left side, puts it up, and drops it in. Three, 128-97, 50 seconds left. Stars Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown struggled and didn't play in the fourth quarter. Malcolm Brogdon wasn't much better. In fact, he was worse. He didn't score in the entire game. Played just 18 minutes. Richard three good from about 30 feet on the left wing. It was the 60 1995 Rockets. That is the worst seed, the highest seed to win an NBA title. Miami, one win away from getting a chance to make history. Heck, they've already made history. Just the second eight seed and the first to win a first-round series in less than six games. They are routing the Boston Celtics in the conference finals as the Miami Heat just dribbled the ball until the shot clock expires. 13 seconds to go. And the Boston Celtics, a team many thought would make it to the NBA Finals for the second straight year. Our one loss away from elimination. A dunk by Cornet with seven seconds left. Fans are doing that. Miami going to dribble it out. And the eight seed, the Miami Heat, thanks to another brilliant performance by guys that we continue to call role players. Maybe we shouldn't anymore because of some of the game. Vincent at 29 points. Duncan Robinson outstanding off the bench. What a flat-out embarrassing performance on the other end by Boston in particular it's top three stories as Miami routes the Celtics to take a three nothing series lead one win away for the Miami Heat from the NBA Finals. Absolutely incredible to me that they have been able to bottle up the two stars when it's mattered most. Tatum and Brown struggled in the fourth quarter didn't even get there tonight. We talked about Gabe Vincent and how he stepped up. He's standing by with Ross. Gabe, it felt like an avalanche from you guys. How connected do you feel as a team right now? Well, we feel good right now. It's great being back home. Great playing in front of these amazing fans. We have fun tonight. You had a career high 29 points. What allowed you to play so free, so empowered, so dominant out there? My guys have empowered me time and time again. Coach staff empowered me. We're made the right play. I was just a benefit.